If one day you walk along the Atlantic coast of the United States, you may find an alien creature with a very thick armor, about 46 to 48 centimeters. Also, if you play Pokemon, then you will find this thing looking especially like Kabuto. It is the Atlantic Horseshoe Crabs. They are called horseshoe crabs because of their hard shells and U-shaped bodies that look like horseshoes. They are not actually crabs or crustaceans. They are Calicerata and are more closely related to arachnids such as scorpions and spiders. Horseshoe crabs are creatures older than dinosaurs and their ancestors once lived in the same era as trilobites. After surviving five biological extinctions, they still survive today, diverging into four different species. According to the fossil record, extant horseshoe crabs are still very similar to their earliest ancestors, and if compared to their 200 million year old ancestors, for example, Mesolimulus, the morphology remains almost unchanged. Although the size varies greatly, there are few differences in body structure, visual system, bodily fluid composition, or appearance and organ function. It is also because horseshoe crabs are such old species, and their morphology has not changed much over the years that they are called marine living fossils. The most noticeable aspect of the horseshoe crab's appearance is its unique eyes. The compound dye of the horseshoe crabs can process the received information which highlights the edges and make the outline of the image clearer. And it can improve visual sensitivity at night, and their night vision is almost similar to daylight vision. Moreover, horseshoe crabs are better known for their blue blood. These cells are so sensitive to bacteria that once the body is injured and these cells meet the bacteria, they immediately release an enzyme that causes the nearby blood to clot rapidly, trapping the bacteria and preventing more serious bacterial infections. Because of this, it became the standard method for detecting bacterial endotoxins in the world of healthcare. It could be argued that the role played by horseshoe crabs in ensuring drug safety and food safety is unique, and as a result, they may save our lives. Because of its irreplaceable medical effects on the Atlantic coast of the United States, pharmaceutical companies can capture tens of thousands of American horseshoe crabs each year and transport them to their factories for blood sampling. However, the blood collection process is shocking. The horseshoe crabs are tied up and transported to the assembly line where staff pierce steel needles into their bodies to remove 30 to 50 percent of the total blood volume before they are transported away and released back into the sea. About 20 percent of American horseshoe crabs that have their blood drawn die from blood loss. In addition, horseshoe crabs are also much less vigorous and slow after blood collection. Experimented horseshoe crabs also become slower, less likely to mate, and produce fewer eggs. In 1990, there were 1.24 million horseshoe crabs spawning in the Delaware Bay. But by 2019, the number had plummeted to 330,000. This is a serious threat to the population of these creatures. But the good news is that recombinant factor C, RFC, is now officially approved as an alternative to the horseshoe crab reagent in Europe, and some pharmaceutical companies are already using it as it is accepted worldwide. In summary, the biogenetic research value and scientific research value of horseshoe crabs should be more widely known, and it is urgent to protect the sustainable development of horseshoe crabs. For more videos on marine species, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.